do you have any um feels about the Oscars? I'm talking about movies right now. That's good. Um I don't know anything overrated. about anything. <laughs> overrated in general. Oscars are overrated. Yeah. I'm sorry. Do you think the Oscars are overrated? Um Hollywood. The golden age of cinema is gone. Well, that golden age is like the 30s or something. So, I know, but that's anyway. what I mean. We so far from it that the Oscars being like the staple of like awards and entertainment shouldn't be. Do you think awards are important anymore mm. in in those type of settings? Oscars, Emmys, Grammys. Sure. Well, the whole thing with I like so. I don't know if it's the same with the Grammys, but the Oscars is the Academy, so this is people same in the Grammys. business voting for Grammys is voted by people in the business. So yeah. when you guys say in the business. How does that work? Is it like in sports where you have to have, like, you get chosen to be a vote for, like, MVP? Wait, what? Say, so, wait. like, in sports, like, when they pick the MVP of the year, like, random people in the business, like, w- reporters. Basically. For so, the Grammys, they send out, basically, like, a register. And if you want to be on the register, like, if you have credits in the fiscal year, you are allowed to vote. Mm. So then you can participate. And that could it. be like producer, engineer, anything. Mm-hmm. Is it the same thing for Oscars? And you could be like a, have to be. like a, yeah, I don't think it's like cameraman, the, the, the grips or something, but like, yeah, like, uh, like DPs, camera, camera people, um, writers, writers, producers, that was music directors. Too, it was mm. like a lot of people don't sign up and don't vote. Just like, you know what I mean? So they're like the same people win because the same people that are voting every year. When they do that, I'm guessing they don't take a poll of that person's general preferences, right? Of course not. That's <laughs> <laughs> so then knowing that and knowing like the variables or like that, do the reward do the awards really matter when you have it no still idea? It matters, I guess, in your I guess, okay, so if we were, you know, musicians and we did get a Grammy, that one uh accolade Garners you fifty thousand dollars extra per show, just because you have it. Yeah, it, it helps. Mm-hmm. So it, it helps. Does. It helps it, your. It, it helps you to get it, contracts it, and future things. Like it's a prestige it, thing for sure. It helps. Like yeah, there's know? no way it doesn't. There's no way it doesn't. <laughs> there's no way it doesn't. Now, is it important? That's. I think. I think it is. Like I don't think people are. A lot of people don't drive for it or strive for it. But it's like, oh, if you get it, it's like, oh, that's that's cool. Like, Killian Murphy. I don't think he. You, the, now, to, yeah, he doesn't yeah. make movies to get, to get Oscar it. recognition. He's making it for like the craft and everything. Um, did you ever see Oppenheimer? No. Was it good? Was it worth the watch? It? I'm a, no, but I'm gonna watch. I'm watching you Oppenheimer. Didn't see it? No. It's coming on Netflix, right? Yeah, I'm. I'm waiting for Oppenheimer, and I'm gonna watch uh, the Barbie, the Rose, the, or the 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 flat. What's the Oh, Flower Moon Child. Yeah, the, the, the Killers one. of the Flower Moon. The, yeah, yeah, I'm watching both those. I, I want to watch that. I got, one. I got time set up for three hour I movies. I definitely want to see Killers of the Flower Moon. Watch no, but I haven't watched. Capitalism. I haven't watched Barbie either. I, didn't, I think you should watch Barbie. I'm, I like. I plan. I like watching movies at home because uh, it's free. Um, and it's not free. Well, it's freer than the it's less theaters. expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not if you have that AMC uh, stubs. I don't think there's an AMC in. Anywhere around me. Really? I think it's de- like down far. Yeah. But so like then then when it comes to like just kind of like how we were talking about the all-star team, it's votes and it has absolutely nothing to deal to do with the actual accolades of a of a, of a film. So in, in what I'm pointing towards is like Barbie was the number one grossing film of 2023. And the face of that movie is Margot Robbie. And and, and Greta, the hype, and it, but that's what I was gonna yeah. say. Is, and, and then then the 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 hype name is Greta uh, Gertwig, Gerwig, Gerwig, and they're not nominated for the number one movie. I th- those kind of things is like that's why I ask. Does it even matter? Do these awards even matter when like it's like you're, it you're clearly not the awarding public. the the best public perception movie of the year. Yeah, not public perception. Well, because I think that comes down to like I think a lot of just because these people are in the industry, I don't think they're 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 affected by like societal beliefs and shifts and perception, just like the average person. And it's like, well, the whole thing was that uh, they were not nominated, but like, not to say that he wasn't good in it, but like Ryan Gosling Gosling was, was was nominated, and I think he spoke out too, saying that like, like this is great to get this recognition, but like. They were the face of the movie, and they're not. Yeah. Um, and I think it's also there's something. It's not. It's not an an 
art house flick or it's not incredibly artistic not to say it wasn't because it had a lot of great great things going for it but i think these general the the films that appeal like appeal to the general audience they almost never get nominated no, for get like it. best like, best movie or something if toy story won when it came out for best film of the year mm. yeah it's never it does yeah. those things you know don't get I mean? nominated get even it. if it's it is like, like the okay, highest gross thing it's animated but it, it can't just have it you know <laughs> did you have a um... Because you watch, I think, more movies probably than Trey and I. Did you have a best movie of 2023? Because I remember we talked about it like a couple episodes ago, but now, talking about now with Who's the Oscars. up for best film? Because I know the Grammys are in two weeks, so I'm holding out for Travis Scott. I don't, yeah. I don't, who's nominated for, for best film? It was Oppenheimer and Barbie out here. I know that Barbie didn't get nominated in Europe for film of the year, but Oppenheimer did. Well, because I mean, uh, I thought Barbie was great and Oppenheimer was great. I don't. I think it was actually better to see. Uh, I don't think either of them you had to see them in theaters, but it was great to see Barbie in theaters versus Oppenheimer. Like people were making a big thing about the explosion, and that was like not even that wasn't even the thing. Like there was one big oh, the explosion. explosion. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I liked it because like I actually sat in those chairs that recline. That was necessary because, like, I couldn't How see. How long was it? It was like movie? a three hour movie, wasn't it? So, yeah, three hour. So, this is kind of funny because I don't know most of these movies. <laughs> Best Picture, American Fiction. Anat- oh, I heard that. I actually really want to see that. Anatomy of a Fall, Barbie, The Holdovers. Oh, I heard Holdovers is really good. Paul Giamatti. Can't oh, I hate love, on Paul Giamatti. I do love Paul Giamatti. Uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. want to see that. Uh, Maestro. Oh, that's. that's the one uh, Bradley Cooper that's, has got a fake nose. He oh, is yeah, yeah. Portraying. He got flat American. For that. I know that's why it was composer. Everyone's been making fun of his. I think it's funny that you get flack for that for portraying a character. Yeah, for like wearing your wardrobe. Because at what point then? But I guess does it, it, what point does a wardrobe hire? A, hire a... <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say? Op- Oppenheimer <laughs> next, then past lives. I oh, I heard that one was really good. Uh, Poor things. Ooh, that's the one you saw. In yeah, that really one good. was maybe one of my favorites. And the zone was of it all interest. black and white? Oh, Leonard Bernstein. Yeah, yeah, Leonard Bernstein. Mm-hmm. Poor uh, things wasn't all black and white, right? No. Okay. But I heard the first bit was shot on film. Film. They go back and forth, right? Uh, I don't think. I think it's the first part oh, because okay. it's, you can kind of tell. Was but a it, lot of that one like one continuous shot? Or mm-mm. okay. Because who does that? Wes Anderson. No, that's like uh, the guy who did like was it Sam I know Sam Sean... Mendes? Okay, isn't it? But like that's a different genre. Like, okay. but he does a lot of like one shots and stuff. Because I know Shot of the Dead has that like the intro is like the crazy one shot. Oh yeah, where like the walking scene and I love I love a good one shot. <laughs> yeah, you know where they it's impressive. I mean, a lot of that's them are why like they do that though. Composited tough. shots though that look yeah. like they're one shots, but like. Like in Guardians of the Galaxy, there's like a like that fight scene was like a one shot, but obviously that's it's not so a funny because I understood what you meant because in audio we comp vocals, so that's just taking a bunch of composition and making it one. So I understood what you're talking. That was your first take, right? Yeah, that's yeah. first take. Like, oh, you did that one shot, yeah, one, yeah, shot. one shot. Why does it say comp seven hundred seventeen times? That's what we named the first one. <laughs> that many takes, huh? V one, yeah, 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 yeah. V one, V fifty, V three hundred. But yeah, I think maybe Poor Things was my like favorite favorite movie because it was like enjoyable, entertaining, great uh, directing, acting. The sets, it's almost you should see it just What's for the sets. Again? Emma Stone. Stone, is she a list to you? I think I think she's she's she up teeters. there. I don't, I don't think she has the prestige of like a, a Jolie, yeah. but like I mean, if you think about it, it's like these actors are like I don't want to bring in like be Agent ageist out, or something, yeah. but they're like. Agent out. It's it's really we just hold them up like that. Like a list is like a who we look up, but like she has the chops and stuff. So I don't think she, I don't see why she wouldn't be considered. What well, do you call like, Marvel especially people after A-listers? This. Like a Chris Pratt? Mm, yeah, I think that's like in terms of like oh, like they're a household name is like okay. is that why their A list is like? So it's like I don't think it necessarily has to do with okay, like yeah. acting because Chris Pratt it's not a great actor, but mm. like he, everybody knows his name. Mm. I mean, yeah, at the same time, right. RDJ. Great. Everybody knows him, but he's I think he's a great actor. He's you watch him in Oppenheimer. If oh, you can, he's if an you can sit through him, if you can sit through it, he's like a isn't main character. Um, was he a Mark Ruffalo in Yeah, he was and really he's really good. good. And I don't almost think I don't almost think I think Emma Stone's a bigger name than he is. Yeah, but I just meant that like Ruffalo was a Marvel. 
Mm-hmm. Did know. Robert Downey Jr. do like a Juilliard type of schooling or something like that? He seemed like he's a real method actor. I don't know. I don't think he's method. Oh, he's not. Mm-hmm. That's oh, like not, a. Not, you're right. Not method. No, no, there's not many though. Not right. method. Um, what I meant to say is like a real studied actor. I didn't mean. Met- I don't think he takes on his roles. I just think he's. You been- mean just like if they're if they were like born and raised like theater kid? Exactly. I think he might have just been a theater kid. I don't that's what he, I, I don't think I mean. he went to. You know, that's what I mean. Was he like a right. was he like a theater junkie? <laughs> theater. <laughs> theater. Theater. Theater kid. I personally am a huge fan of him as Sherlock Holmes. I love those. Movies. Those were great. Those were like you don't like them. They were okay, but they were like oh, the oh I thought they were so much fun. <laughs> Especially well, the first one was fun scenes. and it was cool, but the second one was kind of like too much. It's like I feel like when that's the thing with like a lot of these American movies is like the first one it's good, but then they are like oh it was a hit, so like the studios are like let's make a second one, and they just they want to like a two year turnaround to make the sequel. So it's like, is this still American though? If Guy Ritchie was the director of it. It has the it has like the 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 budget and the the push of an American. Huh? It's an American mm-hmm. studio it making Richie. it. You just snatch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's an American studio that made it, right? I don't know. The yeah. or Sherlock too. I I well, I just wanted to say like talk about like the the Oscar snubs is because of like the Barbie thing. She wasn't nominated for best director, and Margot Robbie wasn't nominated for best actress. Who but directed Barbie? Greta Gerwig. Oh. Okay. It's because like uh, a lot of like the outrage, like saying it's like uh, it's like the boys club and stuff. And it's not that that's not true, but it's like also it's a lot of the white feminism that's being kind of like you if you had this much this much energy and outrage for like uh, an Oscar nomination, if you had that same thing for like a lot of things that don't affect them like if you had this much outrage for 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 this movie but you had the same energy for like palestine or something mm-hmm. like that like it, like white women have a lot of like power in society you don't and say. i think it's emerging now but like but it's for very pointed pointed things mm. did it did a lot of i'm guessing what I'm, what I'm getting is that a lot of white women were upset about those yeah and it's like all like I think yes, historically women are underappreciated or not acknowledged in in film, but it's like what about for a pre- for a prestige. Is it Meryl Streep the shit? Yeah, Does but you're just bringing like up the, one white woman in no, like and not that, a film. She have like the most awards. Like if you know if they are under well, best actress. You're like looking. I'm like you. That's doesn't have anything to do oh, with what I'm right. saying. You're right. Like they, wait, they don't have one that. Does both of them like how they do a music? Where like it could just be album. Well, best movie. Oh, it's not actor. It has to be actress. I thought. I think, act- I think it is best actor, best actress, best actor in a so supporting role. Best actress. Them. Yeah, it's. Okay. I think it's separated. Because they do that music best too. Best female but, lead in a comedy yeah, or something like that. They do that music too, but then you do you could have the joint one as album or record. Yeah, it's not like well, there's like best comedy yeah. or best uh, whatever, best documentary versus like yeah, best album, best R and B, best best rock. Because album, they do have best, best female, best male, but then yeah. they have the best album in general, where you could have whoever. This is really interesting. I just looked up, you know, who has the most Oscars. Who is it? Uh. Meryl Streep has the record for most Academy Award nominations. There you go. With 21. There she won go. three Oscars. Okay. Um, Catherine Hepburn is the one. She has the record of actor with most Oscars with four. So, again, my my question stands. The number one record holder is Walt Disney. Walt? 22 oh, Oscars. Oh, because he's got everything that falls he's under a, Disney. He's the name. I guess. Yeah. Also famous anti-Semitic. Was he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anti-Semite, sorry. 